Hey, it's Christina here, Keto Boss Babe, and today I want to talk to you about rice cauliflower. So rice cauliflower is one of the um, staples in the keto lifestyle when we're talking about like casseroles and noodle replacements and rice replacements and even like some puddings and oatmeal. It's in a lot of stuff. Um, and if you don't like cauliflower, you might want to wait for our next video. Um, but this one, I'm going to give you some tips on how to make rice cauliflower work for you. And so maybe if you don't like it, some of these might actually help you appreciate the joys of cauliflower. So um, we get these huge bags of them from Costco. It's kind of nice. It's a, a great value. And they are zero net carbs. So there's two carbs per serving, um, two fibers, and that's zero net carbs, which is really nice that um, you can add something to your meal that kind of bulkens it and makes it a little bit, goes a little bit further, um, but it's not adding carbs like rice or um, some of those other replacements would. So uh, the way that we use it is we will often make something like um, chicken parmesan or green chicken curry or even mac and cheese, and I'll have a bunch of chicken that I've cooked up or some other meat. Um, even pizza casserole is really good. And I'll, um, I'll cook up a bunch of meat and then I'll add a layer of cauliflower rice to the bottom of it. And again, it makes that meal go a little bit further, stretch a little bit further, um, but you are getting veggies in and then you're adding that with your protein. Um, and then you can always add in some healthy fats like a cream sauce or something like that to make this perfect for keto. So you can hear the dog walk around in the background. Um, so a lot of people will complain about cauliflower rice and how it cooks up. And that's just because there are a few tips that you need to know about it. So number one, if I'm going to be cooking in a casserole dish like this, um, I will always pre-cook the cauliflower rice. And what does that do? That gets the water out of it. So I'll take out my cauliflower rice, I'll fill it up to about an inch high or so, depending on how much I want to put in here. Um, and then I'll put seasoning on top of it. I almost always season my cauliflower rice. So if it's a pizza casserole, I might put some Italian seasoning on it. Um, I might put some garlic powder or some herbs on it, depending on whatever I'm making, um, just to kind of add that extra boost of flavor. So I'll put my casserole, my uh, cauliflower rice in here. I'll pop it in the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes or so, um, just until it looks like it has dried out a little bit. And then from there, I'll add on my macaroni and cheese that I've made on top, which is uh, like a pulled chicken and cream sauce, or I'll add on my chicken parmesan, and then I'll just pop it back in the oven again, and you're basically reheating the meal at that point. So while my chicken was cooking, I had my cauliflower rice drying out in my oven, and then I combine everything together, and it makes the perfect meal that is not watery at all. I absolutely love it. If you're cooking it on the stove, there are some things that you can do. Um, number one is don't overcook it. Um, otherwise, it does get soggy and nobody wants soggy cauliflower rice. Um, but you can add a little bit of butter on it and then same thing, season it when you put it on there. And then I cook it a little bit dry. I don't put like a ton of butter in so it's like sitting in this like soup mess. Um, just a little bit of butter and then some seasoning and then cook it up so it's just, um, it's not, uh, too squishy yet, it's still got some texture to it, but it's really good. So my recommendation is pre-cook your cauliflower rice when you can, add seasonings, and then use it to kind of make those meals stretch a little bit further and make keto work for you. So remember, keep it simple, keep it fun, keep it keto, and you'll have an awesome day.